there are a lot of things I would like to have heard, especially from George. <laughs> George has a story about the Kookaburra Lounge. And, um, oh. I won't mention that, but uh, I might as well. <laughs> we, we were down in Disney World in, on, around Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. We had a tough day. Um, and so I said to George, I said, when you get to the Kookaburra Lounge, when you get to that bar, order me two double gins or whatever I was drinking at that point. And strangely enough, I didn't realize that they were doubling the doubles. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, of course, didn't want to waste it, so we took that. And I managed to get into uh, the room we were staying, and, and Bonnie said very sarcastically, did you have a good time? <laughs> and like an idiot, I said, yeah. <laughs> she said, that's the wrong answer. <laughs> oh my God. That, was that was funny. <laughs> At the time. Yeah. <laughs> it still is. I it can, is funny. I can tell you one more story. We <laughs> <laughs> had a, uh, I had a, um, a closing in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Oh, 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 I know this story. Oh, this is a goodie. So what happened was <laughs> that uh, I was moving from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania to Exeter, New Hampshire, corporation before I owned my own company. So anyway, we got um, a uh, contest going between my neighbor and Mr. Mankowski. <laughs> And the lady next door, we called her General Jim, okay? <laughs> and Lee at that time was, uh, he could handle yeah. pretty, pretty well. I mean, uh, he had some restraints because of his wife, but he had some <laughs> <laughs> other uh, things that, uh, that went on. So anyway, we, um, uh, we decided that Lee and Mrs. General Jim would have a contest of who could drink gin. Meanwhile, my wife and I are trying, trying to get these guys to load this van, moving van, so we could get the heck out of town. So we finished loading the van, it was probably about 9, 9.30 at night. So we go back, and at that time, uh, my uh, lawyer, Mr. Mankowski, um, was, uh, couldn't really slap his room in with a banjo. <laughs> he lost the contest. And he lost the contest to General Jin. But anyway, so we go to the uh, Marriott Hotel. It was a brand new hotel, Marriott Hotel, that night. And we go upstairs, and uh, I got him a room, and, and uh, um, my wife and I had another room there at the same hotel. And we had our son there at the time with us. So anyway, we go into the room, and all of a sudden the phone rings. And I figured it was probably the lady down at the concierge's desk asking us how we liked our room so forth. But it wasn't. It was Mr. Mankowski calling me saying, where the hell is my bed? <laughs> <laughs> so I said, well, I'll be right over. So I go over there, and I am about couldn't slap my rear end with a banjo either. So we're looking for this bed in this big room. <laughs> Finally, I called downstairs, and I started giving the people a little what piece of my it? mind. <laughs> Anyways, the guy said, why don't you hit the button on the wall? So I hit the button on the wall, here comes this Murphy bed. <laughs> so anyways, we got into good night's sleep, and in the morning we're going down in the elevator. And my little son at that time was probably five or six mm -hmm. years old. And uh, Lee and I were hurting pretty bad, so finally he said, uh, uh, so he said, um, uh, are we going to have our Polish breakfast? And I said, no, what no. is it? No. I said, I need it. Vanilla ice cream. Oh, yeah, and he said that he needed some vanilla ice cream. And my son turned to him and said, Is this the Polish breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> he made, he did make.